Apple product, and I have an iPhone. I have I have many apps. The App Store in with iPhone, it has now I think it's over um, over mid apps. Okay, applications, all type of applications. Someone has to create them. Someone creates the applications. Now, what I'm saying is, some of our, our, our children, our young people, who love the technology, they're always on Facebook, they're always, and you, you probably don't know what they're doing, all right? But you know they either on a, app, on a tablet, or they got, they got an iPhone up, or some one of their uh, smartphone, and they're doing things, and they're using the technology. But what about producing something so you can get a piece of the technology, instead of just using it? But design something that can help you get a piece of the technology. All right, now. But you say that they are users. Yeah, they're users. Well, you know, we you know the term we use is consumers. We consume a lot of stuff, but we don't produce much of anything. All right. But there's somebody producing it, and they're making the money off of it. All right. So I'm saying, why can't we produce it, or teach our young people, you know, to do just what this young man has done? All right. Or the Bill Gates of the world have done, you know, or the Steve Jobs of the world have done. There, you know, there, there are people out there, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, they started, Steve Jobs started his, uh, his stuff in a, in a, in a, in a um, garage. Bill Gates started in a, in a garage, tinkering with things, all right? Um, the gentleman who started um, Facebook, he started in his dorm room at a college, in a dorm room, all right? Uh, and then dropped out of college when it took off. When they went public, you know how much money uh, he's worth now? Does he have a college degree? No. But he started with something, and it took off. Um, let me just tell you, how many of y'all here listen to the Tom Jordan the Morning Show? One hand. <laughs> oh, y'all yeah, just don't want to say y'all listen to the Tom Jordan the Morning Show. <laughs> All right. He's got, he's got a good show. I, I'm not going to talk about this other guy because I don't listen to him. Anyway, anyway um, Tom Jordan the Morning Show. They have their own app. He has his own app. Okay? When the show goes off, he replays the show on his app. He has his own app. That's what you hear that now. That's his app. Somebody did develop it for him. He didn't develop himself. All right. Well, let me stop this now. But anyway, has his own app. All right. So now, if they can develop an app for him and for other things out here, the Moss Cares is an app. How come I can't have an app for the Moss Cares? Where we can walk around in the Moss Cares and upload their content. It's like they upload content to uh, uh, Facebook and upload content to YouTube or whatever. A mobile app. Uh, do you know this is where the young people are getting their, not just the young people, but this is where young people are getting their information. Most of them don't read newspapers. You know where they get their information from? The internet and from their, and from their smartphones. Okay? They get it from uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Okay? That's where they get their information. Well, what's that next generation? That's the next generation. All right? If you want to reach them, you have to reach them where they are. You have to reach them where they are. Uh, you can't say, well, now you all need to start reading this newspaper over here. Most of us don't read that newspaper over there, okay? Uh, so, what I'm saying is, there are people out here, there are young people that, there may be young people that you know, that like to even engage in, learning how to develop uh, applications, uh, and our, well, what I'd like to say is, to put the word out, let them know that we want a group of them to come together and provide the expertise to provide and give it to the Moscas to develop an app for the Moscas. We need an app for, now what is the Moscas? The ministry of man worth the Muhammad. We want it to be carried on over people walking in the, and carrying it in, in, the, uh, in their pockets, on their app tablets, and just go to it and get the latest technology, get the latest information, and make their donations. They don't have to go to a particular place, a physical place. They can just go on the application, push a button, and make a donation. Okay, that's what we want. That's what we want. All right. We want them to be able to say, uh, well, did you hear last, the latest uh, information on, uh, on the mosque? Did you hear Imam Muhammad's uh, 
word on this particular subject or that particular subject. Oh yeah, I, I had it on my. I got. I got the application. It was up on. The, it was up on the app. Okay, that's where we want to go. That's today. That's the twenty first century. Okay, and uh, we don't need to let this pass us by. Okay, uh, so whatever influence you have on those, let's get the work out. Get the word out. We want, a, we want a group of people to come together to help develop the technology to develop an app for the mosque cares. Okay? Like tell them, Allah. tell them Brother Akbar, put it out there. Allah. All right? All right? Tell them I put it out there. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Now, online sales increasing. I have another app, another article here. What I want to share with you. Hey, Lance. Online sales clicking. Mall here, clock ticking. That's the uh, um, headline. You know what it's saying? It's saying those people who open up uh, malls and open up stores tomorrow, okay, the time is soon is going to be out for them. That people don't have to go out to a physical mall to shop. They go on to a, to a tablet. They shop on, this, on the phones. They don't even have to live out the house. Okay? Uh, wherever they are, they can just Go up on the net and shop. Okay, so now, I'm not telling anyone not to go out and set up a brick and mortar store. Just understand that soon, that's going to be obsolete. It's going to be obsolete like the buggy, the horse and buggy, and the whips. Okay, those are, those are obsolete now. The only time you see them now is they doing, uh, they taking people around for show, downtown, something like that, and they take them for show. In fact, to get a horse and buggy ride now, people pay big, you know, pay a little money for it now, right? But that's all it's for now. That's it's not that's not for transportation, all right. So if you really want to invest and look for the future, you can do like I do. I have my own website up. I have an online store, all right. That's the future, all right. And I ain't, I don't plan to let it pass me by, all right. Uh, God willing. All right. Next, the next update. Herber. I know you probably haven't heard this. U B E R, Uber apps, changing the taxi industry. How many of y'all take taxis? Sometimes. Catch a cab. How do you use a catch a cab? Call. Call. Or if you're on the street, then you can hail when you flag one, right? Well, with. with <laughs> That's a good point. Uber. <laughs> what this what this company Urban did, they developed an application. You know what you can do with the application? They can go on the application, just go on the application, and they can arrange for a taxi or what they call a car service to come pick them up wherever they are. Mm. Alright? They didn't have to call on the phone, just go to the app, send a text message, and in about five minutes, there's the car. Okay? Didn't go out in the rain, didn't go out in the snow, didn't get on the phone. It's just an application they had on their smartphone or on their tablet. Now, many in the taxi industry now, they're, they're um, trying to work against it because they're saying these people have unfair competition. Okay? They're unregulated. You know, I got to pay this and I got to pay that. And these guys walking in and they can come in with their technology and they get ready to put me out of business. So that's what people used to do. You know, when they, things like this happen, they're trying to figure out how to keep you out, keep the competition out. All right? But, the, but it, they can't stop it. It's, it's coming. All right? uh, the brother said, if, if in our neighborhood, some, some neighborhoods, they can't get no service. All right? so, you, know, uh, you, be, you can call and you might be waiting for half an hour or an hour for, 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 for a vehicle to show up. They, they're providing the competition. All right? So yes, they do need to pay the insurance and uh, make sure that their vehicles are uh, up to speed. All right? But you're not going to be able to stop this. That's, that's, that's going on now. Not just in Chicago, it's all over the country. And in fact, other parts of the world. Okay, the name of the, uh, the program, uh, the app is called Herber, Herber Apps. Food trucks. How many heard about food trucks? Uh, I know y'all heard about the food trucks, right? Uh, now, let me say this to you all. They just came to Chicago, right? They just got started in Chicago. Uh, now, that's correct. And there's a couple of them sort of. But I think we used to have restaurants in the street. Now there's still some of them have restaurants. What's the one of the best restaurants? And you can roll down the street. And people don't have to come to your to a particular facility. Now you can have that, but why not take advantage of this also? 
All right. There are certain places that you can park in Chicago.